Johnny, uh, welcome, and what is your statement? My statement is I am at a point now to where I hate that no good, rotten little motherfucker. Oh. Wow. What happened? I hate him. I hate him. What happened, Johnny? I'll tell you what happened. He's been complaining about me all week. Last week, we were supposed to do the angel casting, right? Right. He gets sick. He can't make it. I cancel it, and we have to do a new schedule, a new date. The new date is September 4th. He don't like that date. He can't do that date. Now, wait a minute. It gets better. So he calls me, and he asks me about this strippers and hustlers thing in Vegas. Can I get him in there? Yeah, I'll get you in there. He says, is Brandy Talur going to be there? I look down. I see the name Brandy. I don't know that it's Talur. I say, yeah. I call these guys. I say, he'll come. He needs money. He, you know, they got money. This is the perfect situation. He calls me today and says he found out that Brandy Talur is not coming. So, therefore, he's not coming. Oh. After these people bought plane tickets. Oh, boy. They got in rooms. And may sue me. Wow. Oh. I put the whole fucking deal together. So I called him up and I said, hey, motherfucker, why, you know what? There's, I don't know nothing about no fucking Brandy Tallur. I'm positive there'll be 600 girls in there named Brandy. Right. Howard, if he don't go to the deal, and I ain't trying to be mean, everybody there knows me, and I'm a kind man, and this cocksucker has pushed me way too fucking far. Well, you know, Johnny, it's a funny thing with uh, Eric the Midget. Uh, Ronnie was telling me. Well, Ronnie was telling me a story this morning where he spoke to some guy who wanted to hire Eric the Midget, mm -hmm. and he said Eric was miserable and that he couldn't hire him because Eric just was just impossible to deal with. Now, Johnny seems to be oh. confirming this. Let me get Eric on the phone and see what happens. Johnny oh, has been go. so good yeah. to Eric. Yeah. Why are you, Johnny, why are you trying so hard to get a career for this kid? I mean, uh, give up already. You know what, Howard, I don't know how it happened. You know, I felt sorry for him. He, you know, he was nice in the beginning, and something has happened, and I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's got me so fucking pissed now I would choke him if he was in front of me. So you're verifying that um, Steve Langford has nothing to do with your anger there. Mm. Mm. Steve Langford ain't got nothing to do with my anger, nothing. <laughs> Eric, how is it that your best friend in the world who supported you, Johnny Frado, is now at the point that he wants to choke you? Can you explain? I don't know, but I also don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Somebody hiring me and saying I... Yeah, hold on, I'll get Ronnie. He'll tell you. Ronnie, you want to tell Eric what he you heard? Maybe this is just rumor, Eric. I don't know, but I'll tell you what Ronnie heard in a minute. He told me just this morning. See, that, I think the only reason you like Eric Howard is you really don't deal with him. Right. <laughs> I, I'm the only one left that likes him. What, what happened, Ronnie, that you heard? You uh, to I, give specifics, but... I, yeah, I heard something... Uh, I'm gonna, some guy contacted me because I'm going to be out in Vegas for this thing next week, uh, the Exotic Dances Awards. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gentleman contacted me about this thing they're doing out there, some also exotic ball or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said that Johnny was going to be there, that Eric was supposed to be there, but they were trying to get him. But obviously he's an obnoxious piece of shit. That's what Ooh. the guy said. Well, he didn't say it. I'm saying it because I, I I can't just can't stomach that motherfucker's attitude. Really? Oh, he. I, Fuck dude, you, jackass. I I've been waiting yeah, to get in here ass. to fucking rip this Fuck asshole you. fucking ass apart for you don't know how long. Well, you know maybe he's got a fucking attitude like he's got not that he's got the world by the balls, but being on this show, he can have pretty much anything he wants to do. People offer him shit, and he's so fucking arrogant. That he deserves oh, all the shit wait, that he let me, let, me, let, me, let me be devil's advocate. Let me defend Eric for one minute. Maybe he's so special needs that when these guys call him, he's got to travel with someone. He needs somebody to uh, help him. Maybe no, they offered all that, Howard. They did? All of that was offered. Wow. All right, so Howard, you have no... He's just argument. a dick. He's a dick, man. The guy's well, a let, dick. Let, I tell you what, let's... Ronnie, oh, thank you. Ronnie. He, <laughs> he agreed, Howard, to do it. He agreed. <laughs> okay. He asked me about this fucking Brandy Tallur. I don't know one fucking Brandy from another. I'm figuring, you know, if, the, if there's a Brandy Tallur or something like that, she'll be there. All right, let's let Eric defend himself. 200 other Brandy Tallurs there. He gets focused on this one fucking thing. 
right, go ahead, Eric. All right, Eric, go ahead. You, you got Johnny on the phone. This is probably your last conversation with him unless you can straighten this out. Go ahead. He, he, oh, he, he, it's got to be straightened out now because I'm telling you, if this thing don't get straightened out now, Eric, if you don't end up at that fucking thing, then, you know, I, 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 I'm going with Ron. And isn't he on your JFSC? We took his mods away today. His what? His mods. He used to be able to moderate and kick people. Oh. And we took the fucking mods away until we settled this thing. Is that true, Eric? Is your mods away? Yeah. Wow. So people mm. can just sit there and harass you. You can't get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you modless little prick. You cackling witch. I might go on the JFSC <laughs> because now I can win. Zero. So you have 0, 0.0 mods? Zero. <laughs> point zero. Point zero. zero. Mod, you idiot. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Eric, Eric, go ahead and talk. Tell him the story. Well, okay. I was hoping to have, um, you know, Brandy to her there. Uh, Johnny told me that she was supposed to be there, so I feel like I've been misled. All right, Eric, so let's say... There's a hundred so girls there named Brandy. I promise you one of them will be her. And if there's not one of them that's her, there'll be one like her. You see, they're all named Brandy, and they all have tits. Eric, why are you? Yeah, why are you fixating on this Brandy Talor? Why? Bit? That's what I want to know. Why her? Who? Who the fuck is she? You don't even know her. There's a. Don't you see that you're you're looking for Brandy, Brandy Talor? There's going to be eighty thousand fucking girls in the same caliber or higher. Yeah, I don't get it, Eric. What? What? what why yeah, are you, you focused on this? You can't go because that one girl won't be there. Hey, uh, Robin, these guys bought plane tickets. They got rooms. The whole nine yards. The guy even mentioned suing me. See, this is the problem. Eric doesn't really understand what it means to take a job, to make a commitment. Well, Eric was told Brandy Talor would be there. Oh, please. He was going to I see girls. Him, yes, I did. Okay, I admit it. I admit it. Because you know why? I don't know no fucking Brandy Talor. I looked at the list. There were 15 Brandys on that list. But, Howard, if you've got a buddy like Johnny, and he's right. done so mm. much for you, Johnny made a little mistake. Yeah, I mean, Eric, just because Brandy Talor won't be there, aren't you into, like, going somewhere where there are tons of hot chicks? How, how would you feel Ugh. if Ugh. you were promised somebody was going to be there, and then they turned out they weren't? Wouldn't you feel misled and not yes. want to go? Well, I would feel misled, but I would say in this case, Johnny's always been there for you. Mm. I don't know nothing about porn stars, Eric. You know that. I don't know one brandy from another brandy. All brandies look exactly the same to me. Yeah, but 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 I, Eric, this sounds like a fun event. What do you got to lose? Yeah, and you what get, else are you gonna oh, be doing? And, and, and Johnny, he's getting paid. Yeah. Wow. And he complains about money constantly. Eric, what well, what's the downside here? I'm not seeing it. I mean, okay, Brandy Talor is not there. What the fuck was going to happen with Brandy Talor anyway? Anyway. I mean, you know, what are the odds of you getting there? You'll roll up, she'll say hi to you for five minutes, and then she's gone. Yeah. Well, you know, there wants to be some other Brandy there that'll suck your dick or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, if you, Stern, had finally put together the meeting between oh, no, Stern me. and I... Then it would okay, Eric, hit. stop. I can't put together meetings between you and Brandy Talor. What is oh, this? Oh, yeah, that's why you did that phone call with her and I last, or May of last year. And What's that got to do with this? And it hasn't oh, it all, Robin, it all somehow hooks together. Ugh. Just try to figure it out. I don't even remember that we had Brandy Talor. I don't either. I don't know Brandy Talor either. Eric's <laughs> living a dream. Yeah, all these women are going to see him and fall into his lap. Yeah, he was like madly in love with us, so we got her on the phone for a minute to let them talk to each other. But yeah. that was for him. We didn't book her. Right. So what do you want from me? I did you a favor. I got her on the phone. You can't close the deal. What I you know what me? it was. We were going to arrange a date, but he didn't want cameras, right. and so it was oh. all canceled. Yeah, she so. didn't want to be anywhere with you where she didn't get promotion.
You know what I don't hear. Here. Uh, what is that? Uh, oh, sorry, uh, 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 George. <laughs> oh, I you know what I don't hear here is uh, some appreciation and gratitude. Oh, you Eric, won't. <laughs> it seems to me so many people are doing so much for you that the least you can do is say thank you, much less you know. Uh, no, he barks at me. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's what staring at you. Had at least got oh, relayed oh, with oh, our... You're a normal person, Howard. He can bark at you, okay? He doesn't understand that I, I, if he's here right now, you know, because it's 3 in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He'd be hanging off this fucking sixth floor balcony. He would. <laughs> I would have him hanging over the fucking <laughs> balcony. I would have Johnny down in the park and say, Johnny, catch. And we'd throw him back and forth. <laughs> Serious. Dear. Honest to God. Well, where were Johnny? Like looking at this, this, this thing of a. Oh, thank you. Do I am I on ambient right now? Motherfucker. What did he say? He said that's the ambient yeah. talking. No, it's the ambient talking. He's not on ambient right now. He'll I'm be not sleeping. on ambient. I will be. I will be, <laughs> because that's the only way that I'm going to sleep. When I take that, Howard, would you explain to him that I asked him to do this? He said he would do it. I signed a contract, Howard. You did? And I signed a aye, contract. Aye, aye. And wait a minute, whoa, whoa. And and they paid for the plane tickets. They paid for the room, and they mm -hmm. have the check for him. I call up the guy to try to cancel because he starts acting like a jag off here. And guess what? The guy says, "I'll see you." Oh whoa. boy! Now, listen, Johnny, I'm going to give you some advice. Get out of the Eric business. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not working out. Uh, Leave Eric, him to his lonely, miserable no. self. Let Eric do his own thing. Let him run his own business. Stop giving him opportunities. Uh, Eric, it makes a point. He was promised whatever this woman is. And he doesn't Howard. care about but, you. But, okay, he doesn't care about you. Howard, we have to bail you out of this. Man, if you were a young man, is one brandy any different than the other? Absolutely no. not to me. I don't know, but Eric's got a fixation. He's got a fixation. But he's got to quit fixating. You don't. You don't bring sand to the beach, Eric. Right, but in a way, Eric signed a contract with you based on the fact that Brandy would be there. But uh, right. all right, if he's a real friend, and I know you've been good to Eric, maybe Eric will say, "Well, you know, there will be twenty other Brandies." That there. would be a good thing to do. Yeah. But I, I don't think I it's think happening more, with this guy. More than twenty other Brandies. Plus, it's a nice trip. He gets to leave with a nice check. He says he needs money. I don't get it. I truly fucking don't get it. You don't Eric? want the money, Eric? The money would be nice, but, you know, I feel misled, and it just doesn't make me want to go. Gee. Eric, Eric. This is Johnny, I, though. I told you. I'm sorry. I don't know nothing about fucking. They're going to sue Johnny. They're gonna, Eric, they're going to sue Johnny. I, I sent you her website. I sent you photos. <laughs> He's on no one's right line. He I doesn't. He did and I told Johnny to email her, and I thought that I thought that she was coming because I saw a bunch of lists and I saw a name at Brandy. I went back tonight to look at it. There are six Brandies. Okay. Why do you want this Brandy so bad, Eric? She's not even into you. Because she's the hottest, bustiest porn star in the business. I bet we could find a better one. Please. She's got the biggest. She supposedly has the biggest natural tits out right. of any porn but star. But what's going to well, happen when you see her? No. Yeah, what do you Howard, think? would you tell him that even if he found this fucking girl, that would you? Could you tell him? Give him a guarantee that there would be ten girls that would be equally or more than her at this thing. There's eight hundred girls going to be there. Yeah, Eric. Surely you, one of them is going to be better than this one. Eric, I know you were misled a little bit, but it does seem to me that this could be a big event with girls, and I know you're into girls. Uh, doesn't that appeal to you right. on some level? And plus, Johnny's your friend, and he signed a contract. All right, he screwed up a little, but uh, maybe you give him a break. You think he did this maliciously, that he wants to hurt you somehow? I don't know. Do you think, I, Eric, do you think Johnny did this to you maliciously? I don't know. I mean, things haven't exactly we've been lining up perfectly this summer like I thought they would be. Oh. Like what, Eric? The casting call was going. You got sick. And couldn't come. That's yeah, not my I fault. Been I haven't been sick for over a week. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Howard, this casting is being done in a casting room. Right. That is rented. And it's rented now again until May 4th. That's, I, I mean, until uh, 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 September 4th. That's the fastest we can get it.
the room is booked. It's a casting, you know, it's a casting room. Yeah, Eric wants it done today. That's what I'm saying. I, he's the one who got sick. We paid for the day he didn't come. Boy, Eric, there's a lot of you canceling in this. Yeah. You what's know. not lining up for you is not lining up for Johnny. Is All right, what so it Eric, like. let, what's the answer? Are you telling Johnny absolutely not? You won't go. Is that it? Let's let's be done with this conversation. Uh, yeah. but yes or no? Are you going or not? No. You're not. Ah. Oh. All right, Johnny, you're Man. out. Johnny, I guess you're going to well, get sued. That was a big no. fuck you. No, I'm going to find. Ah, come on. Let's not uh, resort to violence. No violence. I said I was going to go to another midget. That's what he's going to do. He's going to put a midget. midget in a wheelchair and go and say it's Eric. I got to do it. <laughs> you want to see if we can... have a choice. Do you think the guy would take Beetlejuice? Because if I can contact Beetlejuice, he might fly off for the right money. Uh, maybe. I got to uh, ask the guy. Uh, all right, he's um, not happy with me right now either. And Beetlejuice have... would just want actual brandy, the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do for you, Johnny, because I care about you more than uh, Eric does. Uh, if you're really going to be sued, uh, I, I asked the guy if he's interested in Beetlejuice. I don't know that I can get Beetlejuice, but we can put you in touch with him. All right. Well, All right. maybe that's got to be Beetlejuice the move. is a big star. He's a huge star. Bigger than that's Eric. Be the move. In the meantime, anybody want to go on GFSC and kick Eric out? Be my guest. <laughs> Boy, this is Eric. Well, I, can't believe, I can't believe Eric. Hey, you know what, Howard? I, I used to listen to Fred. I used to listen to Robin and you, Hardy. And I never thought it would come to this. I swear to God, I never thought it would come to this. I thought you two were together forever. Yeah, and, and Johnny, I thought we were too. And Johnny, have it, aren't you the guy who put it, put him on a website where he has his own TV yeah. show and radio yeah. show? Yeah, he had his own yeah. cam. Yeah, what about the cam? Isn't that cam <laughs> your cam? Cam. Got him up to fucking, got him to Beverly Hills a couple of times. Yeah. Took him to the WWE. Mod. Sat and would watch him fucking stupid wrestling I don't even care about. Right. Yeah. Oh, you left I'm before the, the I left, Eric, story. because I have a higher intelligence, <laughs> so I had to go. You see, Johnny knows it's fake. It's a bunch of guys, like, pretending to fight. Is Eric other. pissed at him because he left early? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably part of the reason why we never got backstage. Oh man, <laughs> I couldn't make it, Eric. I couldn't. I couldn't last. I couldn't last. I couldn't either. I agree with Johnny. Please. I really think this I, is I, gonna. I, I, this is really gonna end Johnny and Eric's relationship. Well, you know, and and Eric doesn't realize that his life will fall back into nothingness. Hey, let me ask you something, Eric. Isn't Johnny the reason you can even have this cam and you get to be on the internet? Because it costs money to do all that, doesn't sure. it? No, it doesn't. It sure. doesn't. It costs not money. For this web, not for this w particular website. I could use my original name that I got on here before joining the JFSC and start a hmm. live room like anyone else that says, Eric, just this one time, this one time, why don't you just break down, go to Vegas. If you don't have a good time, then I'll let you can yell at me for like two weeks hmm. and tell me what a good time you didn't have. Johnny's begging you. Because I never, I never thought I'd see the day Johnny would beg. Yeah, Johnny's, Johnny's begging well, him. Me neither. Yeah. me neither. It's just that I want to make some other people happy, you know. You understand Johnny is the son of a godfather. Oh, I never, you know, I it's against that. their where, code. Where, you know, Howard, where's the fucking DNA when I need it? I know. It, it, <laughs> this is fucking if DNA? If your father could see you begging a midget right now. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you wouldn't even be able to go home. What would your father do to you oh, for behaving no, like a no, woman? No, no, he'd have to whack me out. He'd have to whack me out. <laughs> <laughs> he'd have you whacked, whack right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'd be gone. Oh, yeah. yeah. He would say you're a woman. That's it. You can't act like a man. <laughs> act like a man. I want to make these fucking people happy. That's all I want to do. And I don't understand he's worried about some fucking gl brandy glore or whatever. Fucking, there'll be a thousand brandy well, glores there. There, there I will think, be a thousand. I've seen the pictures of them. I think Eric has made his statement, Eric, unless things have changed. Well, what is Eric going to be doing that's so much better than this? Fucking yeah, night what pillow. Else, what else you got to do? Nothing. What, what's your night going to be like on the, on the 30th and the 31st? I'm at the Olympic closing ceremonies. <laughs> I'm carrying the torch. I well, don't wait before you, idiot. All right, Eric, go ahead. What answer Johnny's question, please? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm going to just be watching TV, and I guess 
Wow. Thanks. You'd rather be watching Thanks. titties than see titties. I know you want to see titties. I know that's what you want. There'll be thousands of fucking titties. And you don't even know that that brawn ain't going to show up. They said the old and brought you. I hope she is there, and mm -hmm. he's sitting at home watching TV. Last minute well, edition. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, if she's there, I'm going to make little Johnny fuck her. <laughs> I'll fly out and fuck her. Well, evidently, Ernie, Eric is not... Fucker, <laughs> well, Johnny, I'm going to uh, speak for Eric now. He's made his point. He says... Uh, Basically, look, uh, you misled him, and you're done with him. And uh, Howard, it was a mistake. Uh, I, Johnny, if it was me, I'd say, Johnny, who cares? Uh, let's go see girls. Right. And I'm going to get paid to see girls? This is my logic. You mean I get to see naked women, and you're going to pay and me? And you get paid. Usually you have to pay to see naked women. And they women. put you up in a hotel, and right. they feed you. It sounds like oh, fun. And he gets to leave with money. That's a fantasy. Wait, Beetlejuice wants to talk to you for a second. Johnny, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, hold on. Beetle wants to say something. Let me get him on here. Yeah, Beat. Hello? Yeah, hi. Why did that ain't sound in front of you, friend? I don't know. Why did you do that sound to me? See, Be Beetle's upset with you, Eric. Now all of a sudden, Beetle's involved. You want to talk to me? You talk to me serious. Right. Well, I'm serious, serious. He, yeah, he's upset, Beetlejuice, because now all of a sudden, he's involved. He's a businessman. He knows you can't, no. like, sign a contract and then say no. Say about me. Yeah, and what do you think of this whole brandy situation, Beat? Why did that ain't sound in front of you, friend? Right. You never mess with a friend. I mean, argue with that. I'm not here to do my business. I'm not here to do my promotion. Right. You do, you do your business and your promotion. Right. And Johnny's your friend, right? Well, I'm telling you straight up, like a right. man. Like a man, right. I'm not, I'm not a punk, not a pussy, not a faggot. I'm telling you like a man, straight up. All right, Beat. There it is, Eric. That's Beetlejuice saying it. You think that I'm a goddamn joke? No one thinks you're a joke, pal. You're a stand-up guy. They can say anything they want to say. Right. All right, B. Thank you. What do you think of that, Johnny? Unbelievable. No. Do you even someone in the room was smart enough to know that was your soundboard? What? Are you saying that someone in the room is usually not that smart? <laughs> Maybe I'll take that fucking soundboard to fucking Las Vegas then. Just give me the fucking tape. Something. I got that little kid over here. Eric, it doesn't upset you uh, at all that Johnny might be sued? He don't care. Yeah, he doesn't care about other people. Haven't you gotten that yet? I do now. Yeah, if a friend is going to have something like that happen to him, uh, Eric, you got to step up there. Come on. Not Eric. What's it going to take, Eric, to get you to fucking go? What's it going to take? Brandy Talor. Does anyone know Brandy Talor? <laughs> I think Robin pretty much hit the nail on the head. For one All right. Thing, All right. Smart. Does, does, Howard, does Gary have a way to get a hold of I will pay Brandy Talor to go. All right. I'll, I'll see if we can find her. I'll try to help you out, but I don't even know this Brandy Talor. I don't well, know what... Anybody knows Brandy Tlor out there, get there to, to call me. She's got a I'm, website. I, I, I got to tell you, you know what, Howard? I ain't even mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm sure. I'm disappointed because these guys got all excited. All right. I, I hear you. This is very upsetting. Well, I guess it's over between Eric and Johnny. Yeah, I guess you won't be doing business no. with him anymore, huh, Johnny? I'm done. Now, if you don't do that fucking thing... If I don't see that motherfucker, if he ain't in Vegas, man. All right. He said that he sent you a website. You should go, and I'm sure there's a contact info to hire her on the website. Red Rock. Uh, Eric, that's it. That's Eric. What, so, Eric, do you have any final words for your friend Johnny? Red Rock. I'm not sure. You're not sure if you have final Red words? Rock. Well, this is it, Eric. I, I have to hang up. I can't do this all day. Zero point. You have 0. Zero. 0.0 words for Johnny? Zero. Hasn't point he been zero. crying for two days that Johnny mm. hasn't called him? Yeah. Now he has nothing to say? This is, well, this is why. This is why. And I don't want to make an issue out of it, but you know what? I got called today. People are fucking pissed. And now I'm calling because I had to make an issue out of it. How much money do you think they'll sue you for? I don't, I don't have a clue. Mm. I mean, I'm not even, you know what, just the idea that they're going to sue me over this shit, that I'm trying to do this motherfucker a favor and, and get him paid. Right, you're not even getting paid, are you? No. 
Why no, are you involved in this? Me money. Why are you involved in this? It's going to cost him money. Uh, you know what? I, I, I've lost my mind, okay? Why, why, why am I 54 years old and pregnant? Why? I don't know. I'm making a lot of bad moves in my old age. I might have Alzheimer's or something. Right. He's beginning to question everything. I mean, why are you taking it upon yourself to try and get deals for Eric the Midget? I mean, if you're not getting paid. Uh, you know what, Howard? I still can't even figure out why. I'm, I don't know how I even got to this point. Yeah. With him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're so wrapped up in Eric the Midget. I don't know anyone who would you do stop that. stop calling me that jackass? What should I call you again? Eric, Eric the Welcher. The actor. Actor? You haven't done anything. You know what he's good at? Backing out. Eric the backer router. <laughs> Eric the Welcher. Eric the Cheater. You Eric, marauder. While, while, Eric, while you have all these Eric people the angry. on the phone, while what? you have all these people on the phone, I gotta tell you why something. don't you just commit to the fucking deal and say, I'm going to do this because you're my friend? Why should I? Well, Johnny, listen, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. I brought you to fucking Beverly Hill a couple of times. Uh, I, I, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to. Well, you're, you're begging, Johnny. No, I'm not begging. I'm just making him. I want to refresh his memory. <laughs> I mean, Eric, who else does this for you? I still have not gotten the part of our um, negotiation. And that we did a couple of months ago when we were having the last argument. Oh, boy. What, yeah. happened, what happened to the visit to the Playboy Mansion? That hasn't happened That's, so far. No, John, no, 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 no. Johnny Costello is taking you. They're waiting for the right event that, they'll, that he can get you in on. So that's done. That's not. That's going to happen. I'll take it off the table, John. Right. And and the casting, Howard, he canceled the fucking casting. casting. He canceled it. He got sick and he canceled it. All right, look, the, listen, the Johnny, Johnny, it. listen to me. I, I don't know how to resolve this between you two. Uh, it sounds Is it over? Howard, Howard, just tell him to fucking do it. Or like right. he listens to Howard. I can't. I, he doesn't that. listen to me. He'd be flying on balloons if he listened to Howard. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for the ballooning <laughs> thing to happen. Oh, Eric, I'll tell you what. If you, you if, all right, okay. Come on, Eric. The guy's going to get That's sued. Back. For old time's sake. Party. Into it, so. This is uh, this has been decided by Eric. Yeah. Eric is his own Eric man. could care less what happens right. to Johnny. Uh, I guess that's the end of this association. All right, Charles. I got to go. All right. Thanks, Johnny. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, wait. What? All right. You're going to do it? Wait, what's this other? I just heard you buzz someone else in. What? I didn't buzz anyone in. I think Johnny. Oh, Johnny's gone. Johnny hung up. You waited too long. Oh. Oh, Johnny hung up. Johnny already. hung up, Eric. I just looked over. Get him back. I'm not. You go get him back. I just had him on for 15 fucking minutes. Now you finally. Gonna I don't focus. care if you had him on for a fucking half hour. Get him back on the fucking phone. Listen to him. Wow. I'm not getting him back. I don't know. I'm. I'm you get him back. Why do I have to get him? I have nothing to do with this. I was just about to say fucking yes. And well, how do I know that? He hung up. Wait for you forever. Cat, fuck you! Get him back on the fucking phone. I don't know how to get him back on the fucking phone. You get him back on oh, the like phone. Oh, like no one has his phone number. Uh, Wait, do you I, have it? Listen, I got a radio show to do. I can't spend the whole morning getting Johnny Frado on the phone. This is between oh, yeah, you. Let's just go back to all the gay shit you were doing. And there's going to be a lot exactly more gay what shit. We're going to We're going to be doing something nice for George Takei. Thank you for giving us permission. We got a pretty penis contest right now, and you're Wish making... you were here to judge it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you guys, you go take that up with Johnny. I'm sure if you call him, he'll take your call now. Because if you have a, a, a change of heart, he's going to be interested. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Do not hang up. I'm hanging up. <laughs> Eric, I got a radio show to do. I don't give a shit. Yeah, well, I, I know, do. You don't give a shit about anything or anybody. Mm. I was just about to... Well, what do you want from me? You were on for 20 fucking minutes, and you didn't say what Johnny wanted, and he hung up. You waited till he hung up. Well, I'm waiting till he calls back. Uh, well, he's well, not calling ahead. back. Like, put him on hold. Let him sit there for the rest of the show. All right, I'll put you on hold. If Johnny calls back, I'll let you talk to him. How's that? All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
love Eric and Johnny business. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. <laughs> he goes, okay, I'm ready. The guy hangs up. He's ready. Fuck <laughs> you. Don't hang up. Oh, by the way, I, I don't have time for this. I know. I'm not even sure my audience cares. Well, I sure as hell do. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Life is too short. You know, the, I so is Eric. Not for no Eric. Gravity. Life has never been too short for Eric. Life is too long for Eric. <laughs> yeah. When he has friends, when he has the opportunity to do things, I mean, it's so unbelievably self-destructive. Yes. Well, listen, he also has medical problem. Maybe he didn't want to travel because of his medical no, problem. No, he what? would have gone for Brandy Talour in mm. a second. All right, all right. You know what? Let, let's change the subject. we got a great Brandy day here. Tallur. Yeah, what is it? Yes, he's back with me, Fred. Shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. Who the fuck are you to say to me, shut the fuck up, you little twerp? <laughs> Quickly, Eric. Really? I, I, I want to be done with this. Well, tell me what you saw in your mind. Well, you said if... Um... Johnny called back that you would put me back on the air. Yes. Yeah, he Johnny hasn't called back. He didn't back. call back. Yeah, oh. your intern told me he did. Oh, he did? I, 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 no, I haven't seen that. Look at your fucking board. <laughs> Look, go call Johnny on your own. I don't want to be involved in this anymore. Hey, Howard, you know what the A stands for in his hat? What? Asshole. Well, I mean, he's being ridiculous. <laughs> I don't see Johnny on there. And, uh, Eric, I got a rest of the show to do. So, Carson, listen... You probably took too fucking long to with that dumb penis contest, and, and he fell asleep on Amy. Well, maybe. All right. Listen, go give him a call. I wish you best of luck. Hope you guys patch things up. Thanks, Eric. Red Rock. Why are you fuck announcing you. it? Oh, Red fuck me. Yes. Why? Red Rock. And too long. Get out of here. Now you're pissing me off. Goodbye. <laughs> Now he's pissing me off. Look, he's got the ability to piss off anybody who has any goodwill for him. You took too long. Jackass. Yeah. He's just announcing that Johnny has an ambient problem. I know. What a friend.